What's going on? How y'all doing? This video going to be about how Obama is talking about how the United States is still divided. He's got a book out and he's been speaking out. He talks about the Republicans being pathetic, which they are. How Trump's been using this lying about conspiracy theories. Just don't want to take his butt out to pass over to Joe Biden because he's behind oh, a lot of money. And he's trying to stall because he don't want to have to face the reality that litigation and a lot of other stuff is on his behind. So he's trying to stall. Obama has always been a very enlightened, charismatic speaker, orator, etc. The only not the only things I'll say to him is this. He says how the country's divided. Well, it's racist, you know. But you know, I'm one thing I said with Obama is this. You can't sit up here and hold uh, Abraham Lincoln as some kind of role model when he benefited off of the slavery. He ain't nothing but a slave master who benefited off of it. There ain't nothing free about Abraham Lincoln or none of them. You know, what is there to admire about someone who profit off of people who look just like us? And that's no dignity. See, this is the reality of America. That's what they had in the White House, slave masters. The electoral college vote, slave master. All this stuff puts back to it. So, I can appreciate Obama's optimism and how he feels, but I'm going to tell you something. Trump didn't got him loosened up with saying some stuff because the idiocy that's out here is scary. You got to remember something. 70 plus million people still voted for Trump just now. And this is with the pandemic. That, that, that to tell you that a virus that's wiping people in counties and 11 million people got it, and all these deaths and stuff, and people would still part their hands to 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 vote for him. Should tell you how reckless people what they really think about you. It's a sorry state of affairs, but that's what we're dealing with. But anyway, Obama's speaking out, got his book to push, but he's also, you know, he swayed a lot for Biden and for Harris with his presence. I mean, he really has that kind of sway. But what he's talking about now is real. You know, it's always been a divided country. The only people who don't think it's divided is the ones who've got white privilege. Most other people who are aware know it's a divided country. White privilege, the systematic race, institutionalized racism, with cops killing, uh, housing, schools, poverty, ghettos, etc. You name it. You know, and it's the silent virus that we don't talk about, we know about, you know, so it's there. Now, he can talk about it, but what do you expect is going to happen? This country is too racist to make a flip, you know, and they, they, they give you, they like, they'll give you something, they ain't going to give you much of nothing. Remember that. That's how it works here. The denial is real. But give me your thoughts and takes about Obama talking about America being a divided country. What your thoughts about that? Feel free to give me thoughts and takes. I welcome them. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for one another. And uh, to have real talks, real healthy talks, you got to come out your comfort shell. This ain't something that if you faint, don't be scared. But if you want to keep it real... You got to break down the, the walls and the barriers over 400 plus years in America. I'm out.